WFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome all to the 2 p.m. update with me, David White, on TFNN. And what are the big stories today? Well, the S&P's kind of flat. The NASDAQ, as we kind of thought, was the weaker of the two. The Dow's up three-tenths of a percent. Uh, Russell's uh, basically flat. Crude up two percent. Uh, that's on some reductions in uh, the Russians' productions or distributions or sales. Anyway, supply issue there so we've seen a little bit of uh, uh, that underneath the crude price gold's down about four tenths of a percent but uh, it's uh, just working its way through what I think is probably higher prices eventually uh, the big news today mostly low volume in the markets we're only doing about 6.4 million shares at two o'clock so generally that means you may have a little bit of a bounce into the close. If you don't if you're down on light volume, then maybe you get a pop. I'm thinking that we do see about 4,000 on the S&P a week from today for the close of monthly options expirations. But uh, just very light volume. Now there are a few things going on. We really don't have any big news. Uh, in the equities uh, till next Thursday, extremely small caps and maybe just a handful of medium caps stocks through Wednesday. Nothing that I saw that would move the market. Uh, Thursday, we get into a couple in technology with Cisco and AMAT. I think those are after the bell on Thursday next week. And then Friday morning, we have John Deere and Auto Nation. But uh, the big, you know, we've got a lot of earnings coming through. The just most of them are uh, the stocks that are probably not going to make any, unless you're in them, probably not going to make a, uh, a, a dime's worth of difference to the bigger indexes. So could we see kind of uh, a couple of uh, small steps down, maybe one small step forward for a handful of days? I think probably lower volatility for the first three days of next week. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll be back in a minute. 